Hello Aries, this is the general reading for the sign of Aries. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Aries strongly in their chart. But my friends, please be discerning and intuitive about whether this reading is for you or not. Um, I am going to begin shuffling now and um, ooh, I'm, I'm getting, it's, this energy is ooh, it's coming up against me. So I'm going to start re shuffling now. Ooh, when I get in this energy, it kind of takes the breath out of me. And to be honest, I have already started this reading. Um, and as I was beginning to shuffle, I had shuffled three cards out and there was a whole group of cards that went flying across the room. I actually had to stop the recording and go pick them up. One fell underneath a huge chair. Um, it was quite dramatic. And so, um, and again, when I'm getting into this energy, it's almost like a breathless kind of energy Aries. So let's go ahead and see what's happening. What is the current energy for this group of Aries? What is the current energy here? What is the current energy? And look how the cards are just coming out so easily. It's just very interesting what's happening here with this group of people. Current energy. I, I want to also get all the way through this deck. We already have a lot of energies here. So, and there's cards slipping everywhere. The two of cups slipped over. It's just a lot of activity here. Um, I think we're good. Let me just make sure. I think we're good. There we go. Oh, and there goes another energy, the star card. I'm telling you, this is in, in my skin is just like heated. Um, there's something here that's happening with this group of Aries that's quite passionate. I am not going to start this reading over. Just one moment. Let me get that card. Fill out and on the ground. I'm going to put it down on the table. <sighs> okay, so this is a current energy. It's a big energy, Aries. Like I can feel the energy just kind of ru rushing through me and around me. It's it's a hot, excited maybe even a little anxious energy that we have here. Okay, let's look at what um, Aries will be stepping into in the next incoming period of time, the next immediate period of time, the next seven to 10 days, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks. I can't really for sure tell you exactly what the time period is. Don't ask me to do that, Aries. I refuse to do that because that is just not from my perspective. Tarot is not a time forecasting um, instrument. It is looking at energies for me anyway, um, but I have asked for the next incoming period of time and for that um, it's it's like seven days to a month is usually what the energy feels like to me all right let's look at what Aries see you can tell I'm in this very intense energy please be patient with me Aries I'm in this intense energy and I'm going to try to moderate it just a little bit but um, I think in a way I mean it is notable and it might even be enjoyable to feel some kind of matching energy with yours um, let's go ahead and see what is the incoming energy or what Aries will be stepping into in the next immediate future. Look how these energies just come right out. It's like it's just happening. It's just happening so easily. Look at this. I, Aries, what is this? Oh, my gosh. They're just coming out. It's, it's like I don't even have to do anything. I think I'm through the deck now. There's another. I mean... I can probably just keep doing this and the energies will just keep coming out. There's something massive going on here for Aries and I have way more cards than I normally do. So I'm going to stop. Um, let's look at what the guidance is for Aries. What is the guidance here? This is a firestorm or this is a whirlwind. So there's something happening here. What is the guidance here for Aries? What is the guidance here? I mean, I haven't had a reading this week where the energies just came flying out of the deck. I mean, it's just absolutely, almost in a way, it's shocking almost. All right, Aries, let's see what's here in the current energy. We start off with the Empress energy. So we have the Empress energy to begin. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles energy. Very grounded type energies. Um, so you have a lot of power here. The Three of Pentacles, that's exciting. And how here we come with the Ace of Cups. So we have the Ace of Cups energy. We have the Three of Cups energy. Six of Swords. Nine of Swords. Star energy. Okay, let me put these all in a way that I can read them because there's more than normal. And in the future segment, we're going to have more than normal as well. There's just a lot to be said. 
I mean, I just don't see anything about the high priestess here either. And the high priestess is a very settled. Why am I bringing up the high priestess? Let me see if she's in the, I have to, you know, I'm not going to see. What I'm feeling is this is like the opposite of the high priestess. It's not that you're not connecting in with the divine because I think you truly are. Look, you have the star energy here. But what is happening here is there's so much commotion. There's so much um, movement and excitement here. Nervous energy, intense energy. Look, I just want to keep moving these energies around. Let, let me settle myself just for a moment here. Especially with these two swords energy uh, energies here. Um, I, I just feel like I need to settle myself a little bit before I get too excited. And... <sighs> Sorry, give me a second here. I have to kind of get myself settled in with this fiery energy. See, the thing is you have... <sighs> this is a power group. This is a power group of Aries. Because see, you have the Empress next to the Seven of Pentacles. This is a, a powerful group of people who are very grounded, willing to put the work in, willing to wait, willing to train, willing to invest. Like there is, there is somebody here. This is a group of people who are very grounded, very grounded. So something significant is happening for this group of people um, because we do have this anxiety energy here. So when somebody is very grounded um, and, and there's something happening that tells me that there's something of significance happening. Oh yeah. And I look at the top. Okay. I'm not going to go to the future. Sorry. Okay, I have to, this is an energy that's very forward moving energy. It's very, it's like this whole thing is a chariot energy. If we put down the king of wands and the chariot energy, this would be the energy that I'm looking at here. All right, because we have the empress energy, this is an energy of people, could be men or women, doesn't have to be the, a female gender, who is um, very grounded, um, very much having internal balance, um, having a very strong feminine healthiness, a feminine wellness, an energy of internal um, love and nourishment, an energy of, of passion, and a very fueled up sense of initiation or a sense of going forward. And uh, um, it's like you're fueled up, you're packed, you're ready to go. Everything's in the car and you're ready to set out on an adventure. There's nothing really holding you back here. Yet there is something here yet to do, right? There's something here yet to do. Um, it's a very interesting mix of energies. Um, we have the Three of Cups here, which is an energy of celebration. There's something here you're really excited about. You could have a team around you. Um, this could be something within business. You could have a team around you that's helping you do something. There could have been a kickoff or a ribbon cutting um, or some sort of opening to uh, opening ceremony. I'm telling you, like, whatever this is, it could be very grand. It could be very exciting. And it could involve other people as well, Aries. It's not just um, perhaps you. I mean, for some of you, it could just be you and another person. But for some of you, this could be a community event or, or a family situation or something here that's worth celebrating. And there could be multiple people here celebrating in some way. Um, and we do have the Seven of Pentacles energy. So there has been some focus here on planning and implementation waiting and investing and it looks like something is beginning to move forward here with the six of swords so whatever this planning and investing this waiting this detail oriented analysis that you've been doing on whatever this is has helped you move forward in a much more peaceful way so i do feel like you're ready to go on something like you're ready to get going and then we step over here to the three of pentacles energy the three of pentacles energy next to the seven of pentacles energy is an energy of um, having something that gets you very excited having something that you can see that you can experience that you can hold in your hands that's just the beginning of some sort of story right? It's just the beginning of the story. It, there's a long way to go here, but whatever you have seen or whatever you have, if, have experienced has really brought in a lot of excitement for you. And there are indications here that there is further abundant, ab abundance to be attained. There's further success to be, to be had here with the Three of Pentacles next to Seven of Pentacles. Like you're willing to really put the work in here and get this going, whatever this is. It could be a new business project. It could be a new job. It could be a new contract that you have attained through 
through some kind of industry. Um, it could be a relationship that you're stepping into. Um, whatever this work is, there is an anxiety about it, almost like you're ready to go. Um, you're ready to go. You might be waiting on other people. You might be waiting on like, if this is a construction, um, you could be waiting on permits from the city or some type of regulation. Um, it, it feels like you're ready to go. You've done the planning, you've done the work, you filled out the paperwork. Now you're ready, you're waiting. It's like you're ready for something to say go or for some kind of jurisdiction to give you the red, the, the green light. Like, oh, it just feels like, it, again, it's like you're, you're at some kind of place where you're just waiting for the green light, the go ahead. And this waiting has maybe put you in a place of, it's just hard to wait and waiting could, you could be losing money by waiting. You could be potentially losing clients. You could be, um, you could be waiting for a relationship to start and feel like you're losing time or you're lo you, you could be, have competition or something that you're losing out on. There's a feeling here of having peace, ready to move forward, having nothing really to hold you back yet with the six of swords, but then being upset that you are at this three of pentacles energy and it just feels like there's there's something holding you back whatever it is it's something that maybe you don't even have control in and that's why you have the nine of swords this is a very action-oriented energy this is a do or a mover and a shaker kind of energy and when you're held back by something that's out of your control it can absolutely create this nine of swords energy Aries. So I feel like for many of you, that's the energy that we have here. Now we're moving into the Ace of Cups with the star energy. This is a beautiful, beautiful um, scenario, whatever this is. This could be a new relationship. This could be a new love relationship. This could be a new project that you're so excited about that's so perfect for you. It could be something that you have been dreaming of for a long time that will bring healing and vitality and inspiration into your life again right? The star energy is on top of the Ace of Cups. So there's something here that really is your destiny. It's your life path. It's your soulmate. It's your truth. It's it's who you are. It's, it's something that allows you to really bear yourself, to really show who you are um, and really live in your truth. So this is if this is a relationship, this feels like it was made for you. This person was made for you to be a partner with, or this job was just something that is just a destiny, a dream come true. There is a feeling here of like an exuberance and enthusiasm that I can't even really put into words. It almost feels like a manic. That's what it almost feels like. It feels like, I, I just feel like Aries, this could be a kind of a, sh and I don't mean short lived. I how long can this intense energy go on? Like, that's the question. How long can you be this intense? Because well, and I am a, an Aquarius and I have a lot of Aquarius in my chart. So maybe this fiery energy just has me all up in the air. But here we go. We have the six of swords, which is, which is an air energy, the nine of swords, which is an air energy and the star energy, which is an Aquarius energy. So maybe it's just my energy that's just like whirlwinding around and swirling around in this fiery passion. But even saying that, I've done readings for fire signs a lot now and um, I don't always go in this direction in this much enthusiasm and excitement and intensity. So there is ha something happen happening here, Aries, that you feel so very enthused about, so very excited about. And there's something here that you're waiting on here. You're ready to go. You're moving forward, but you're waiting on something. And it's just maybe quite difficult to be waiting, waiting on work, waiting on something to happen, ready, waiting for the green light. Okay, so that's the energy that this group of Aries is in. Okay, that will help you decide if this is your, perhaps your story or not. All right, let's look at what's coming in here in the future. Now, there's a lot of energies here, so my camera isn't really set up for a lot of cards because I want you to be able to see them, but let's just see what happens. So we have the death energy. Well, then we have the strength energy. Well, we had the higher font come in kind of like this. I'm going to leave it in the reverse just for now. It, it's not a bad energy. We have the nine of cups here. How many other cards do we have? I think I'm going to go like this. Give me a second here. I just have to figure out how it feels best to lay them in.
I'm almost in a way procrastinating on this energy, you guys. It's so strong. It's delicious. It's delicious. It really is delicious energy. Oh, the sun. I'm telling you. That's, that's what I'm talking about. And here's this. Here's this conflict you're, you're having here. And there is that rush. Okay, so these are the energies I'm feeling. And if you have been listening to tarot or if you do your own tarot for a while, you can tell that this is a very dynamic set of energies. So it almost makes me feel better now that I look at these energies. It kind of explains a little bit of what I'm feeling. Um, for the, for the, okay, let me start at the, at the glaring situation here with the tower. I'm always pulled to the tower first for some reason. Um, probably because like the, like the rest of you, I've experienced some towers in my life and there's no coming back from that. But the tower energy is next to the Prince of Cups and over the top of the Nine of Cups. So whatever this big change is, it's something that is so delightful. It's something that's so exciting. It's something that you can almost not contain your excitement, your enthusiasm, and your and your passion for whatever this is. So this tower is a good change. It doesn't mean that it's not scary, and it doesn't mean that it doesn't come with some crisis moments here for you or some major conflicts, but it is something that... Um, is bringing in some wishes coming true for you here with the Prince of Cups and the Nine of Cups. All right, so let's start over in the beginning. We have the Death Energy, which is a Scorpio energy. We have the Sun Energy, which is Leo, um, a Leo-type er energy, an Aries-type energy with the Sun. We have the Strength Energy, which is another Leo energy. We have the Knight of Wands, which is an Aries energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the Hierophant in Reverse, which is a Taurus energy. Um, so we have a lot of fire here. We have a lot of fire, a little bit of earth, and some emotion, but there's a lot of fire. Now, when, when we when we go into the, this card, is, this is pulling me in, but I, I don't want to go there yet. These two energies are really pulling me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Aries. <laughs> Um, but let's start with the death energy. Let me kind of focus in on the death energy. I mean, obviously, this is about transformation. And obviously, there's a backstory here, right? There's something here that has created a new version of yourself, a tough, um, fierce, um, honest, powerful, intense version of yourself. So whatever this is in your past, you're not the same as you were before. Something has completely changed you. You could have had a whole different perspective on life now. You could want to do something completely different with your life. You could be going through a midlife change. You could be realizing your true potential. You could be realizing your life path. You could be intent on changing your life in a dynamic and dramatic way um, in, in order to feel some kind of new inspiration or some new fulfillment in your life. Because we do see the Nine of Cups here, which tells me that you have spent some time really digging into what brings fulfillment what brings fulfillment and happiness and joy into your internal self. The Nine of Cups energy to me is like an internal um, realization of fulfillment, right? And then the Ten of Cups, when you get to the Ten of Cups, that's almost like an environmental um, fulfillment. So first you reach this energy of personal fulfillment, like the Nine of Pentacles would be personal reliant, personal self-reliance, personal strength. The Nine of Cups is like personal happiness, personal peacefulness, personal empowerment, right, with the Nine of Cups. Then with the Ten of Cups, you move into the environment. What about your environment will bring you um, uh, emotional fulfillment, right? So this tells me as a death energy that you have spent some time really kind of digging in to who you really are. What is your soul? Where are your roots? What calls to you? What empowers you? What brings you to a new level of excitement and enthusiasm for life? Because here is a death energy over under the top of the sun. I mean, I can't hardly even talk. These energies, the sun with the death energy and the strength energy are like, I don't know, like a, a race car or uh, I don't, I mean, it's just like an engine that is just unbeatable. It's some kind of new rocket that will go into space or something. I mean, it is a powerful energy and that's the energy that I'm feeling. And I know it can be dramatic when I'm in these energies, but please be patient with me, Aries. I am a lot of Aquarius, and I'm going to fly around in this fiery energy. That's what happens. It's combustible. Here's the thing. 
Um, there is something here that has given you a lot of, I mean, I just think that whatever you're doing now, there's nothing really that can hold you back, right? Whatever you have been through in your past, you know now that you can do anything. You have found success. You have found victory in one way or another, and you can do anything now. Maybe you lost someone very significant for you, and that created um, some sort of process in which you have learned how to find your own empowerment or you've learned the strength that you have within you maybe you've, you've gone something gone through something that's definitely a, a, a catastrophe or some kind of major financial crisis or something that you have found victory over you have pulled yourself out of that trench and now that you know that you've done that nothing is going to be able to stop you from doing anything i remember years and years ago i did something that was so it was so difficult for me. It was so difficult. I don't know anyone else in my life that ever experienced anything the way I did in the, and, and I know that those people had their own very difficult experiences in their life, but I went through something in my, com in my community that no one else um, had ever experienced nor knew what to do. And I was a victor. I came out alive. I came out debt free. I came out um, with, as a totally different person. And I knew at that time, I remember thinking it back in those years, I can do anything now. I can really do anything now that I've gotten through this period in my life. I had to let go of everything. I know now that I can do anything. And it's this same feeling of strength and empowerment that I see here. All right. There is something as you're moving into the future that you're going to have to have some kind of a petty conflict. And I think it's more annoying than anything. When I get into the five of swords here, there's somebody or a community or a situation um, that is really trying to, I don't know what it is. It's something that's stopping you from moving forward. Look at this five of swords next to the knight of swords. It's like you're raring to go forward and there's this annoying little I just want to, it's like, it's like, there's a lot of words that I could say right now. I don't need to say that because why the strength energy is here. And what does the strength energy do? It does. What does the strength and there, what, I can't even talk Aries. I can't even talk. What does a strength energy represent? It represents the ability to really contain yourself, to moderate those feelings that you have within you, to not say or do anything that's going to cause further crisis. It's going to take this to another level of um, catastrophe or whatever this is that's stopping you. I think you're realizing here that it's just probably a um, something that has to be done. Either there's a person who's insecure or something's happening where you're taking something away from someone that probably wasn't theirs in the first place, or there is some bureaucratic um, system that's keeping you from moving forward. There's something here that you're working to achieve and it does feel um, it, it is painful for you. You have all this strength. You have all this compassion. All this passion, not, I don't feel compassion here. Maybe there's compassion here, but I don't feel any compassion here. I feel empowerment and forward movement. Whatever you're doing, you feel so passionate about this. You're ready to go. You're ready to go. No holds barred. And here is some sort of stoppage. And I think that is quite frustrating. And um, you're wanting to go into battle here. But I think you realize that the the... Um, if you can contain yourself, if you can moderate your energy, if you can try to m calm that fiery beast within, um, this could, this fight might not have to be so severe, or maybe it's just about ready to happen. I think you understand that this is something that's in the, in the scheme of things might not be uber important in the whole scheme of things. It might feel really annoying and frustrating right now, but three weeks from now, three weeks from now, it, it will probably be all coming, coming together. But right now, this energy right now is really even hard for me to talk when I get in this energy, because you could be so frustrated with something. You could go into a city government and stand at a counter and try to talk to someone who is looking at you with glassy eyes and and not understanding why you're in such a hurry. I mean, you could have put a million dollars down on something and you're waiting for somebody to process some paperwork in the back room and it's not getting done. And maybe that person went on vacation and now you're sitting for a week, not having what you need to move forward on some kind of big investment that you've made, right? It's, it's that kind of an energy, right? But I think you realize now that it's just a matter of time. It's just something that you're going to have to pass through, whatever this is. And, um, you are going to, you are going to be able to move forward because we have the Knight of Wands energy. I mean, you're re ready to go. You're ready and raring to go here. 
All right, we do have the Hierophant in reverse underneath the Knight of Wands and underneath the, the Page of Cups. So let me get into this energy now. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, let me get into this energy. I just feel like you're 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 setting yourself free. You're setting yourself free. You're moving out from under some sort of umbrella. You are the gates have opened like there's something here that you're you're being set free. Set get, getting set free from a corporate job, you're starting your own business or you are um you're given been given a project that is that is a clean slate where they're saying, go ahead and get started. You can do this the way you want. We'd like to see what kind of artistic design you have. Um, we'd like to see what kind of um, ability that you have to come up with something fresh and new that nobody else has, right? It's something here that is lacking um, structure and possibly the structure that you could have been really straining at for some time. Um, this could be a relationship that is free and clean and fresh and really not feeling so in t um, not feeling so, it, it could be, if this is a relationship, it could be a relationship that's not feeling so clingy, right? It's, it's feeling like maybe you're going to traveling with someone or you are moving forward with a project with someone. And it could, it could be a relationship because we do have the page of cups here and we do have the nine of cups. If you, if that's what you've been working to bring in, but if it's a relationship, it's something that is wild and free. It's something that maybe involves travel. Maybe it involves going to different countries and helping different countries with something, or maybe it's um, a travel vlog or something. I, I'm not sure what, what this is, but it is something that's passionate, fast moving, spontaneous, enthusiastic, um, and without fear. I don't sense any fear here. I don't feel there, there's much of fear here at all. Um, it, it's very passionate and it's very fiery as you move into the future. All right. So with the page of cups, now there is something here that's really inspiring you. There could be a new introduction here. Again, this is a, something new that really warms your heart and inspires you. It's fresh and clean and it's helping you move forward in a new way. Could it be a new introduction of a new relationship? Absolutely. But it doesn't have to be that. It can be a new project that really just inspires you. It could be a new um, assignment to something. It could be you could be an artist and you could have gotten, and I don't even know the terminology, but you could have just been hired to do um, some kind of a statue or a painting or something that you could have just do whatever feels good. And it's whatever it is, there's a lack, there's a lack of formality, there's a lack of structure, and there's inspiration and a warm heartedness and a fresh and clean energy about this, whatever this is. Okay. Then we have the Page of Cups over the top of the Nine of Cups. So we're talking about some sort of deep, deep desire coming true. Something is happening here that's coming true for you. And it's so very exciting. I just cannot get over this energy. And it's over, it's under the top, under the tower. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, this is certainly a tower. I mean, this energy that I'm in is certainly a tower energy. It's probably one of the most exciting towers that I've ever seen. Um, and, and where I would say normally like the tower energy could still be chaotic. It could be, it could create anxiety. We do have a little bit of anxiety now, but I think as you move into the future, I don't see a whole lot of fear here. I honestly don't. I see some kind of a conflict. I see you having to hold yourself back from maybe saying something or doing something that would cause further damage down the road. I see maybe the community not really understanding what you're doing with the higher font in, in the reverse. Maybe your family is like completely lost and wondering what the heck is going on. Or maybe um, the community is not really a part of your future anymore that you're in. But I think more than that, there's just a lack of structure here. There's a lack of hierarchy. I mean, maybe you're starting your own business and you can do things exactly the way you want. I don't know what it is, but it's just intense, enthusiastic, spontaneous, exciting and really very forward moving, very progressive type of energy here. And it's a big, huge change. It's a big, huge change. Big things are gonna happen now, right? Big things are gonna happen with the tower. Changes are gonna have to be made, whatever that is. I mean, you can't hide the fact that the tower is here. All right, let's look at the guidance. Boy, this reading. 
let's look at the guidance. Aries. Seven of Cups. Okay. Two of Swords. Nine of Wands. All right. So what, are the, what is the guidance here? Oh, geez. Well, I think the guidance here is, this is all defensive, isn't it? Seven of Cups. There's a lot of different ways you can go. You could be kind of up in the air. You could be um, really trying to figure out different ways of doing things, going forward, excited, excitable energy. But there is um, a need here to really look at all the different options. Look at, look at it. Do some emotional planning here with the Seven of Cups. Look at the different ways you can do this. Um, make sure that you're really kind of investigating each thing that you're doing. I, I think in a way this is, this is kind of advising um, to make sure that you're looking clearly at what's happening. This is almost an energy of, it feels like it's what, what we just looked at in the next immediate future would be all offense. And this feels like a little bit of defense. Like where's your defensive team? So th there's guidance here to, to make sure that you're looking for the truth in the situation, make sure that you're not uh, being overly enthusiastic and moving too quickly and not noticing some details that sh that are kind of right in front of you. So there is a, like a guidance here to just kind of in a way, uh, maybe slow down, not slow down, but but be very aware as you move forward, be very careful as you move forward, investigate the options, look deeply into the options, maybe do some more research, investigate. Uh, it's almost like um, you need a counterpart or some somebody next to you who's like, well, what about this? Have you thought of this? Here, look at these details. What do you think of this? Here's some reports for you. Look at these reports. Here, I, I have created these reports and this one looks best and you would, might be surprised. Oh, it does? Oh, let me see. You know, it's almost like an energy of doing the analysis, doing the investigation, looking at the details, making sure you're moving forward carefully, making sure you're making the best decisions. Um, it almost feels like a different person. Like if you could hire someone that could help you be your counsel, be your advice, be your advisor, that might be good at this point to hire an advisor. Um, if you can't do that, if this is a relationship or if this is something that's just a one man job or a one woman job, um, it, there is guidance here to put on your advisor cap, put on your counsel, put on your CPA cap, your money management cap, and really make sure as you move forward, you're doing this in a way that will be a long term, um, a long term, a long term situations because even when I started to say long term like the energy kind of stops and I'm not saying it's not going to be long term it's just like it's almost like you're building a road and at the end of the road like it cuts uh it's like the energy just stops so there I think what they're doing is they're trying to help you to see how you can make this into a long term stable um something here that you're building out into the future to ensure that it has a long term and and see like I keep stopping maybe this is something that's a short term thing maybe something this is maybe a stepping stone to something else but whatever it is there's a there's really a need here to to create a very stable foundation for whatever this is and to really look at the details and make decisions that are will help you build a solid foundation that's maybe a better way of saying it than trying to say the word long term and then coming to a stop. Building a solid foundation. I'm not saying this is going to fail. I'm not saying that at all. I mean, you do have the star energy. You have a lot of really powerful, beautiful energies. I'm just saying that I think you might be so much in the moment um, that there might be some kind of a need to really start to look at the details or find someone to help you look at the details, help you look at the numbers, help you make some choices here, um, help you create a defensive strategy so you're not um, putting yourself into a risk that is not necessarily um, a risk that you should go into. You know, it's it's that kind of an energy. I'm not going to stay in it too long because I think I kn you know what I'm talking about here. So um, I am going to move to the extended now and let me look at the energies that I'm going to look at. Um, I definitely want to look at this Ace of Cups. That's a for sure thing. 
I want to look at just this is kind of man, there's a lot here. I usually only look at four because it does take me a little while. I'm going to look at this nine of cups. What is this coming true? I'm kind of interested in this five of swords. I kind of want to know what this five of swords is. I want to dig deeper into this tower too. So look, we're going to look at this ace of cups. We're going to look at this dream coming true. I want to see a little bit more about what this conflict is. And let's look deeper into the tower to see what kind of changes might come in for you. Does that sound like a good plan? Um, these are not necessarily energies that I would normally step into. I would normally um, avoid, especially the five of swords, but I think it might be helpful for you to kind of get into that energy and see what's in there. All right. And then what I'll do is I'll take this scenario out into the future. Um, you can think of it as in months. I prefer to think of it as in energy waves, um, just because timing is so very inaccurate when it comes to tarot. Um, but we have to kind of trust our spiritual teams to bring forward information in a way that can help us process it. So if you want to think about it in months, you can, or you can think about it in waves of energy um, too, if that's more helpful for you. So these are the energies I'm going to go into, these four energies, and then I'll take the situation out into the future. All right, my friends, thank you very much. This was a really fun reading, really exciting. And it, it's fun to hear in the comment section about what is actually happening, because this is an epic, excite, exciting um, situation here. All right. Thank you very much, my friends. Bye.